What do we really know about the Senators captain Eric Carlson? Well, we know he's one of the best offensive defensemen in the league, he's got incredible speed, amazing hands, can throw on the dangles whenever he wants, and he's got a blistering shot. But what do we know about him being a forward? Is he a better forward than a defenseman? He's got a confused look on his face, he wants to know, I want to know, and we are going to be trying that out in this video. Is Carlson a better forward or a better defenseman? Now for this this particular video, I am going to be using Eric Carlson's Movember item in Hockey Ultimate Team. So, as you can see, it is 95 overall, the highest edition of Eric Carlson. He has 97 skating, 96 shot, a crazy 99 hands, 89 checking, and 93 defense. In addition to that, he does have all three of his synergies active, which is passing playmaker, cycle game, and team shot block. His stats are just ridiculous. 98 offense defensive awareness, 93 defensive awareness, 94 poise. The only two stats under 80 are fighting skill and face-offs. And we didn't get Eric Carlson to take face-offs, and we didn't get him to fight anybody. We got him to put up points. Now, I'm going to be playing Carlson as a defenseman for three games and a forward for three games. So he's going to be paired alongside my top pairing with Jake Muzzin. I put him on every single power play line, every single penalty kill, every single four on four. I pretty much put him in every single situation I possibly could. I even threw him in the shootout. If I could put him as my backup goalie, I'd do that too. So let's see how Carlson performs as a defenseman. Eric Carlson has a younger brother named Pele Carlson, who is a 24-year-old undrafted defenseman. Uh, he currently plays for the Nybro Vikings IF, which is a Division I team in Sweden. I don't know too much about this guy, but he looks a lot like his brother Eric. I think we all know what we're getting with Eric Carlson, a very offensively minded defenseman. If he sees some room, he's going to take it just like that, splits the D and gets a nice goal. Now, he's not going to be overly physical. He will lay a decent hit, but he's not going to absolutely rock anybody, but he can hold his own. See there, Tyler Myers is trying to get the puck away from him. He just stands his ground and gets a nice slap shot on net. Now, Eric Carlson has pretty nasty stats all the way around, but his skating category is off the chain. He is probably the fastest player I've used all year. I've used Pavel Bure, I've used Stamkos, I've used a lot of fast players, but Carlson probably takes the cake. Every single time he skates up the ice, he's going to make something happen. See there, uses his speed, finds McDavid in the slot, and uh, that is another goal and another point for Eric Carlson. So he's just very smooth skating. I think it's going to help him when I play him as a forward as well. Uh, he will get knocked off the puck, but he somehow he finds his way and he gets a nice assist there. He always seems to be on the puck. It's very hard to knock this guy off the puck. I think that's really going to help him when we play him as a forward. Picked up by Wyman, back to Carlson, shoots, scores! Eric Carlson, the overtime winner! Takes it three to two and a miraculous comeback against the Wild. Terrific pressure. Carlson finishes it off as he was dangerous all night. Now, more often than not, EK65 Eric Carlson is going to be in your three stars. He's a ton of fun to play with. Now, throughout the three games that I played, I actually won all three games, which is pretty surprising for me. He ended up getting two goals, three helpers for a total of five points in three games with 11 shots, and he ended up being a plus six. So, I don't know if you need any more convincing. Pick up this item in Hockey Ultimate Team. Maybe try out his base card before you go ahead and spend six or seven hundred thousand on his Movember, but I love him as a defenseman. Let's switch gears here and try him as a forward. Carlson fact number two, he is born in Landsbro, Sweden. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, please let me know. Uh, but another cool fact from Landsbro is aside from Eric Carlson being born there, Johan Franzen, the longtime member of the Detroit Red Wings, the mule, is also from Landsbro. And it's kind of crazy because the population of Landsbro is under 1,500 uh, in 2010. So it could be a little bit more than that now. But still very crazy that two quality NHL players come from a place with under 2,000 people. Eric Carlson. 
Nelson as a forward. Let's do this. I'm going to put him alongside of Trevor Linden and Connor McDavid. All synergies active. So, I mean, I'm giving him the tools to succeed. What a nasty line that would be. Again, I'm giving him all of uh, the power play, all penalty kill, four on four, all that good stuff. And the first thing that I noticed with Carlson as a forward is that I was trying way too hard to make things happen with Carlson. I wasn't letting it naturally happen. I was trying way too hard. And I think that's why the first game was pretty much a write-off. This was the only quality opportunity that he had. And then Henrik Lundqvist flashed the leather. He says no. Now the points were there for Eric Carlson as a forward. It was just a lot harder. And uh, you can see here a nice point shot from Eric Carlson as a forward. Uh, McDavid with the tip. Now McDavid and Carlson just seemed to work together. I don't know what it was, uh, but they were just a dream to play with. They were so awesome together. Now I think I was just expecting uh, Eric Carlson to come in and just light it up. Now the points were there. You can see he had three assists in this one game, but I did end up winning the game like 10 to 4. So I mean, if you play with Linden and McDavid, pretty much just put your stick on the ice and good things will happen. I think that's why he eventually had the three helpers. But even as a forward, he still made clutch defensive plays. This was an overtime. Pretty much saved the game. You can see here what a stick play. Just gets a stick on it. So I mean, he has the defensive instincts and I think that's where he should be played all the time. Now I'm not saying Carlson is not a good forward, but he's a much better defenseman. Now even as a forward, I found him in a lot of defensive situations and he just seems to excel as a defenseman and I think that's just how he should be played. So uh, you're going to see it here. As a forward, I only won one out of the three games. Zero goals, three assists, three points, plus three, nine shots. Now all of his points came in that one game where I ended up winning 10-4. to four. So, so the other two games, he didn't really do a whole lot and that was kind of surprising for me. Now the results could be different for you. You're probably a much better ultimate team player than me, but that is just what I found. Now before we end this off, we're going to go with one more Carlson fact. Get that music playing. 14 teams in the 2008 NHL entry draft passed over Eric Carlson. You got names like Zach Boychuk, Colton Tubert, Nikita Filatov. Uh, you got players like Kyle Beach, who you probably have not heard of in a long time. And I guarantee if we could go back to this draft, Eric Carlson would be, if not the first overall pick, the second overall pick right behind Steven Stamkos. I look at this draft list and I cry because if the Canucks would have been smart, could have had Eric Carlson. 14 other teams could have been smart, could have had Eric Carlson, one of the best Swedish players of all time. So from this little experiment, I am pretty much guaranteeing Carlson is going to be a better defenseman for you in the long run. Yeah, he might put up a couple of points here and there, but in the long run, he's going to be a better defenseman for you. Play him on the defense. Now, I want you guys to try this. I want you guys to tweet me their results or comment them down below. Say, hey, I used Carlson for six games as a forward in six games as a defenseman and here's what I found. Maybe your results will be completely backwards to what mine are. I'm kind of interested to see though so please let me know on Twitter or in the comments down below. Now also let me know if there's a forward that is played as a defenseman or a defenseman as a forward that has excelled for you in Ultimate Team. I'd like to try that out. So, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.